Hello guys, my name is JP, and welcome to Prison Architect. Uh, it's a game that is in alpha. It is currently in, I think, the 16th version of its alpha stage. Because um, the, well, the version is called Alpha 16. I've actually had this game for quite some time. Because uh, I saw Generic B playing it one day. And I decided to get it. And I have not played it since. Uh, I had it... When I got it, it was in Alpha 11. So I am way behind. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to play the way I know how to play. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking here. Uh, for storage and stuff. Let them get on that. So basically, this is a simple premise of Prison Architect. It's a tycoon game, but not quite a tycoon game. You basically build and run a prison. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, let's see, there's stuff to do. Read the CEO's letter. Okay. That's really long, I'm not reading all that. It's, it's there if you want to read it. Give me that. Delete. You don't want that. We do want money, though. Which is where grants come in. Basically, they will pay you to uh, do stuff. You can take as many as you want with no real consequences other than you didn't do them. So, I did those. They need a, a thing for this. So, let's put a staff door. We will also need another room for utilities and such. That was weird. I'll do this. I'll do a little bigger here. Basically, I'm going to build the, the basic infrastructure. All the buildings I'm going to need first. Or at least all the foundations for the buildings. And then turn them into as needed. Like, I need a holding cell, a shower, a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, uh, two offices. Uh, I'm gonna need a whole cell block, a medical ward, stuff like that. So, I have a lot of things to do. Uh, I believe I can turn this now, yeah. Have them put a door in. And then we can go ahead and... Have them put in the power station. And the water pump. And a large pipe. This doesn't really matter, I can do it on the inside. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. Well, this will be the storage room, so I can go ahead and mark it as a room. For storage. That'll be fine there. Uh, I guess up front I want to build another uh, the holding cell. Makes sense to have it near the front of the building. I'm gonna do it over here. It'll obviously be significantly larger than the previous buildings. see what else I don't want to have them I could obviously draw out all the, the foundations now but I only have so many workers and they they do the tasks uh, that are closest to them first I think instead of in the order they're given although I'm not sure of that anymore because obviously that was that was back in the day Like, uh, Alpha 11 would already have been many months old. 
and obviously a lot can change in that time. Especially for a game in Alpha, I mean, if you look at the way Minecraft changed in between versions back then, it's unrecognizable, pretty much. Okay, so they're doing that. That'll be the holding cell. I guess it makes sense to have all this kind of stuff at one side of the prison. And non-angry stuff on the other side. So I guess over here will be the offices. I don't know how many offices I'm going to need. Even if they're small offices, I can build a lot of them laterally. Uh, like, what is this, 3x7 on the inside, 3x7, 3x7, 3x7. I want to build at least 3 or 4 of them. I'd rather have a bunch of uh, little ones now, like I don't have to worry about it. Because like every one of these, there's a bunch of staff you can hire. Uh, most of them require uh, offices. A doctor is going to need a, a medical ward. Uh, a chief is going to need an office. A foreman's going to need an office. A psychologist is going to need an office. Counter needs an office. A lawyer needs an office. So if I just build the one big building, I can just partition it off into offices as needed. Let's see. Well, we can set it as a holding cell. Need the toilet and a bench. I can do that. Objects. Toilet. And benches. There we go. Oh, obviously in there, a good thing to do is go ahead and put a couple of phones so they don't go insane. Because uh, they will get angry and they will riot and stuff. Now I also want to build some walls here. Uh, two separate entrances, one for one for prisoners and one for staff. Basically, this one being protected by two staff doors, and this one being protected by two jail doors. Kind of like a big airlock system. They, they have an interesting way of building walls with well, a screwdriver. Seems legit. Like that, the staff can get in and out no problem. Uh, from there. But anything else wanting to get in and out has to go through the other room, through the. The jail entrance. They need a door on this thing. I guess I can just put one for now. Right there. So it'll register it as a room and finish it off. Because actually when it's like this, it's like just a foundation with no walls. And the power is already getting up there, so let's go ahead and add some capacitors to increase the electrical capacity of this place. Strange. 
seems like it, uh... Close? No, it's fine. That's weird. Must just be a graphical glitch. It's showing that there's a block there in the way. A thing. Okay, connect some pipes to the toilet so it'll actually work. Alright, what else are we going to need? A shower? A yard is an outdoor area, so that's no problem. Alright, so let's start doing some more foundations. Uh, I figured 9x9 nine nine on the inside is good for the shower. Uh, hold on, let me figure something out here. Uh, planning, okay. There is a way to do that now. You can just draw without actually uh, using up... without actually doing the things. Okay, so I need to go at least two more down. So I can do it like... This. No, one more. Yeah, okay. That's how I want it. It lets you plan the prison without, uh... Without committing to it, so you can... Do it without them actually automatically working on it. Right, so this one will hold nine at first. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, this is the first cell block. Actually, if I leave this open, I can extend back this way when I have to. Yeah, that'll work out better. Okay, and it leaves the plan there, so I can still do it. That's great. A uh, brick wall between here. This will need a door. I'll also have to bring, bring out the utilities. Bring them out to here, and then down, and then through the middle there. And then same with the electrical. All the electrical go to the inside, cross over. Just like that. Um, I guess a large jail door here will be fine. Let them catch up on the work and stuff. Uh, we have... About a day before the first ones will arrive. And actually, we can switch this so we will get low risk prisoners first. Like minimum security people. Uh, I do not have the infrastructure set up for crazy ass prisoners. Actually, let's see what the requirements are for a office. 4x4, four four, so it's going to have to at least be 4x7. Uh, 
And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. It'll leave enough room for four offices. Have to make sure they all have doors, though, otherwise it will... Uh, probably not count them as actual things. Alright, they're doing all the utilities and stuff. We are good on power. You can obviously uh, turn everything on and off as needed. Okay, so we need a shower. I can do a, go ahead and start doing the shower here. Pipe valve, that's weird. Objects drain. Okay. And then, where's the shower head? Here we go. I guess that's plenty of them. Probably need more drains, though. As I recall, drainage used to be a problem in this pretty bad. Like, uh, if you didn't have enough drains, the water would come flooding out into the... <laughs> into the open area. Alright, we're gonna have to start walling this thing off pretty soon. Everything that doesn't have a wall is gonna need a wall. Bring this out. Bring it out pretty far here. At least for now. I don't know how far I've gone. It's probably too far. No, not far enough. Okay. That was too far. Cancel that bit. Like that, it'll be walled off for now. Although, uh, the way I'd like to do it is like this, where everything is walled in by buildings. Because that is somewhat easier to uh, monitor as far as... Just... They can't just break through one wall and get out, though. They gotta be like... They gotta escape through a building or something. Uh, these are the only weak points, is these little dark alleyways, but I'll fix that later on. I leave it like that, so if I want to expand, like, another building back here, I already have a little walkway through, so I don't have to tear through a building or something. Uh, let's see. But I guess that'll do it for this first episode. So I hope you are enjoying such games as these. Uh, it is available on Steam. I think it's about 30 bucks. Uh, sales obviously over. The winter sales. So I can thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Prison Architect.